to change it. New Mexican Native American activists are celebrating tonight. A team name they say is offensive lost its trademark registration today. But the Washington Redskins owner and attorneys are fighting that ruling. As KOT Action 7 News Anchor Royal Day shows us, those who don't like the name believe this fuels their mission. It really shows that the tide is turning. The U.S. Patent Office ruled the Washington Redskins name is disparaging of Native Americans and the team's federal trademarks must be canceled. Laura Harris is the executive director of Americans for Indian Opportunity in Albuquerque. She says this latest announcement reflects a changing attitude about the team's name. Overwhelmingly, Americans understand now that this, this term is not appropriate and it's time to change. Harris feels the term redskin is offensive, but she also points to the dictionary where it's defined as slang, often disparaging and offensive. Always has been, always will be. A campaign to change the name has gained momentum over the past year. Part of that, this ad that aired during the NBA Finals. It ends like this. Native Americans call themselves many things. The one thing they don't The ruling by the U.S. Patent Office is similar to one issued in 1999, which was overturned in 2003. But a new case was launched in 2006 by a group of young Native Americans. The NFL team doesn't immediately lose trademark protection. It's allowed to keep it during its planned appeal. The team's owner has vowed not to change the name and says it honors Native Americans. The team's attorney says the ruling won't affect them and they will win. Harris believes this time the outcome will be different. I don't think it'll stand up in the court system this time around. Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News. The ruling was overturned in 2003 in large part on a technicality because the courts decided the plaintiffs were too old. That's why another group filed suit three years later. Now we asked you.